Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll do another Mailbag Monday. Hey guys, welcome back. Really glad you could join me today. Really glad you're following along. Today we have a couple other packages uh, arrived. We're going to take a look and see what we've got. So we'll start with this one. This one came from Hong Kong Post. Childproof, apparently. Good packing job. I love how all these Arduino components, regardless of what's in it, seems to use uh, the anti-static bags. Kind of cool, kind of handy, because sometimes I, uh, when you buy like. ICs and stuff, sometimes they don't come in these anti-static bags, so it's good to have spares. So what we've got is the Arduino Uno breakout boards, I think, by the looks of them. I got two of these, I forget the pricing on them, they were very reasonable. Um, in case you guys don't know, what I, uh, I get a little AdSense income sometimes from the um, those ads at the beginning of the video. I put that right back into these components if you haven't already noticed. Uh, hence we can do Mailbag Mondays. And uh, I was lucky enough one uh, supplier did sponsor with two components. But. So this is the breakout board for the Arduino Uno. It's a definitely, it's an offshore, There's it's not from a, a, an official Arduino site by any means. Uh, we've got two push button tactile switches on it and through and through as well as links to all the traces. Pretty cool. It's labeled uh, keys. So, mm, test key and reset. Pretty cool. Uh, should be pretty handy. It looks like we've got LED on board for power and I don't see one for pin 13. Oh, there it is. Right there test and 13 so cool <clears throat> comes with a really nifty little tiny tiny breadboard which conveniently enough fits right there so I think these would be pretty handy I don't use the Uno's a lot anymore um, I like the smaller ones that I can actually solder to but this I had another project in mind so I grabbed two of them while the price was right pretty cool so this I'm not sure what we've got this It hissed when I cut that. <laughs> that is a new kind of packaging that I haven't seen before. It kind of scared the crap out of me. So, what I've got, really cool longitudinal bubble wrap. I've never seen that before. What we've got is a, I have to do a presentation upcoming on some security items. So I thought I'd pick one of these up and I grabbed a couple other too. This is a uh, surveillance camera, a spy camera if you will, in a pen. And that's the size of it. That's the, uh, that's the pen itself. It does feel pretty cheap. But the threads, the threads seem to be good in this one. I've seen some stuff online where they weren't so great. comes with a, I think this was the 8 gig. <laughs> it's labeled a Kingston. I doubt it. Um, this thing was uh, awfully reasonably priced, put it that way. And I'm going to have to spend some time and figure out if we can even get the darn SD card in the thing. But anyway, at the end of the day, this should be a small uh, pen camera. And with any luck, it actually writes, because that's important. What do you know about that? It's actually really nice, small. Anyway, um, I'll give this a try, and maybe I will continue this video when the rest of uh, some more items like this come in, and maybe we'll do some reviews. But if you wanted to see something now, there's tons of these on YouTube. Check them out, and uh, we'll give it a go and uh, see how it go, see how it works. I'm not planning on spying anyone, <laughs> spying on anyone. Uh, but I do have a purpose for these in mind. So anyway, we'll uh, catch you later.